Hi, you're watching News X and Sports X. Now all eyes are on are on that third test to be played between India and South Africa in Ranchi. Uh, India obviously eyeing a white to wash against the South Africans, and we need all eyes will be on India. Uh, all eyes will be on getting uh, your uh, numbers improved as far as the uh, World Test Championships are considered, right? So absolutely. Tomorrow, as uh, Fab Du Plessis has said, the team batting first will have the advantage, right? Sure, absolutely. And you know, you spoke of numbers, you spoke of points. Uh, 40 points is uh, you know what you have to get uh, from each test match and india has already in fact uh, intimidated south africa right. a lot the first test match the second test match in fact the second test match was uh, you know was uh, something which was in fact very you know, a terrible experience for the South African side because in the first, at least, Dean Elgar did put up some fight, but in the second, even their bowling, which is, uh, you know, Kagiso Rabada and all the other guys, Keshav Maharaj, all of them could not do anything against India's batting prowess. Uh, but, you know, the real challenge, Siddharth, is uh, going to be for the Indian team selection also tomorrow because, right. you know, it's a track in Ranchi which is conducive to spin attack. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to drop, drop Shami? Hmm. He's already picked up eight wickets. Yeah. Are you going to drop... Uh, uh, Umesh Yadav, he's picked up six wickets. Uh, you know, so whom are you going to drop to adjust to Kuldeep Yadav? Right. And if you do, what kind of a message is it going to send? Or are you going to stick with the same team? Yeah. You know, that is also going to be another perplexing question in front of the management. But I think that should not affect how the outcome of this right. test match is going to come out. But for the South Africans, I must say that their captain hasn't led from the front. Faf Du Plessis has only notched up about 137 runs in four innings. Right. Now, that does not really speak well or augur well for a captain of a team uh, that has always been known for touring well. Right. South Africa this time around is extremely depleted. Kagiso Rabada, only four wickets so far. Right. You know, another disappointment from uh, the young pacer. But if you look at pacers uh, such as Umesh Yadav, Vishan Sharma, and Mohammad Shami, they have done well, even on tracks. You know, where there is you know difficulty for pacers to right. generate, uh, you know, in fact, pace and pick up wickets. So a lot of uh, you know one-sided achievements being talked about here, right. and the competitiveness. You know, which we expected from a South African side is extremely disappointing. It's despondent to see South Africa in such a state. And today, earlier on, we were talking about Sarfaraz Ahmed right. and how the whitewash against Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka. resulted in yeah. his ouster. I just hope that Fafnu Plessis is not met with the same fate once Absolutely, they go back yeah. and, you know, go back to the drawing board. Siddharth. Absolutely. So, who do you think is going to be that key player for, uh, uh, say, an India? Do you think it's going to be that third spinner? Kuldeep Yadav if he plays or it's, it again is it going to be one of the top order batsmen is it going to be Kohli your Mayank Agarwal or Rohit Sharma Mayank it is for me yeah. you know Kohli is somebody that you know you don't even have to talk about you know that he's going to come to yeah. bail team India out but you know if you talk about the recent most uh, uh, you know people who have bailed India out or who've, who've been you know in fact standing like a pillar between you know defeat and victory it's going to be Mayank Agarwal and with the consistency that he's shown and if you talk about the bowling prowess and I think I think my uh, money is always going to be on a Jadeja and right. Ashwin you know because these guys have picked up wickets not only against South Africa and India has been unbeaten on yeah. Indian soil right. uh, you know in a series that or, is uh, since 2013, uh, 2013 and right. Ashwin has been part of most of those series victories right. so I think you know we have a very rich experience but the only thing like I said as a test cricket purist I miss is seeing some fight from the South Africans now they're going to be without Keshav Maharaj uh, they're going to be without Markham, uh, you know, who, who supposedly has been injured. But what I heard, there was a lot of infighting happening right. between him, Dean Elgar and Faf Du Plessis. And that's why he walked out of a meeting and took a flight home. But this is just through my sources. I really don't know. So don't quote me on this. But this is what exactly happened. So there is a lot of turmoil in South Africa. And we are going to get to see it in Ranchi tomorrow. And guess what, Siddharth? MSD is going to be MS, in MSD is going to be there, right? So yeah, uh, a depleted South African side would certainly want to take something out of this particular game. India eyeing that particular white wash, but you cannot, you just cannot uh, oversee the South Africans. Uh, let's wait and watch what happens. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you for watching. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.